Hey YouTubers, this is Half Man Half Cichlid. I wanted to uh, follow up on my first video on my 500 gallon acrylic uh, bow front uh, uh, build. Uh, you can see I have a, the tank pretty well populated, a number of predator haps. They're growing r very rapidly. The last video I had introduced you to my 115 gallon sump. Uh, the, the focus of this video is going to be on a subject that uh, uh, raised a lot of interest in my original video, and that is my my grow bed that I have on this aquarium. Uh, some of you may have seen what is my number one most popular video. It's the truth about pothos. After uh, three or four years with pothos, uh, I discovered uh, you know it, it really doesn't have signif significant impact. On nitrate production, especially in a heavily stocked tank, uh, you know it's a novelty to watch it grow. Uh, it probably has some impact on water purity, but uh, when you're dealing with uh, large populations of heavily feeding fish like African cichlids, particularly uh, predator haps, we got. A little more horsepower, so that's why I'm I'm working and have installed on this uh, aquaponic bed. Uh, it's, it's a 4550 gallon black tub. Uh, it's fed by the manifold from my 5 gallon per hour pump, and there's an overflow that sends the water back into the sump. Now within the uh, grow bed. I've got a number of plants, and uh, you know I've researched and contacted many people who have uh, had success in both hydroponics and aquaponics on what grows bed best in a aquaponic bed. And what I settled on, I've got some pothos in there, as you can see in the back. I've got uh, Chinese evergreen, the colorful plant on the right. I've got some dwarf umbrella palm. I'm, uh, I've got uh, bamboo, uh, uh, a Chinese bamboo, I think that's what it's called, or bamboo, Chinese bamboo. I've got a philodendron, and uh, I've got some frog bit. And we have six or eight uh, different plants in here. And the intent is to have the root systems of all these plants which grow in baskets with the clay media balls to have the roots eventually fill this tub to where I have about 40 gallons worth of roots that are purifying the water that uh, is sent to it and, and then back to the, uh, the sump. So just you know, for posterity, I wanted to record what the bed looks like early in the development cycle. It's growing very fast and I hope to be able to share with you in the near future uh, what the impact is on water chemistry and, uh, and what the growth rates uh, of the plants are. So if you haven't already subscribed, I'm going to have a number of videos uh, on this, this overall build which uh, I believe included some, some practices and methods that go beyond even best practices in the advanced aquarium hobby. So look forward to seeing you in the next video and enjoy.